Hello, gentlemen and ladies. Welcome back to another screencast of Total OS Today. Well, for this review, I will be taking a trip back to my friends at Planet Zorn, as I like to affectionately call them, and take a look at yet another Zorn distribution, the Business Edition. It'll be a mini review. However, if you are interested in a more detailed look at the Zorn core operating system, please take a look at two of my previous videos. The first one is called Zorn OS 4 Review, a Linux for the future. And if you're looking for a few laughs and chuckles, please take a look also at this one here, Windows versus Linux 2011, that is Windows 7 versus Zorn OS 4. This is a simulated bowl game. It's done for laughs. It is a satirical look at the epic battle between Windows and Linux. However, it does have some information based on my experience. So again, take a look at Zorn OS 4 and Linux for the future or Windows versus Linux 2011. But for today, we'll be taking a look at the actual operating system. This is taken from their website, Zorn OS's website. It says here, Zorn OS, Beyond Limitations. Of course, you have Zorn OS, the gateway to Linux for Windows users. I couldn't agree more. This is a premium version. Uh, you know, I just thought of something. For the last 10 years, there's been talk by analysts and in print about the year of the Linux desktop. I have not seen it yet, but one day in the future, if you happen to walk inside your favorite electronic store and see a Linux PC on the counter next to a Windows PC, that Linux PC should have Zorin. My apologies, I digress. That is a topic for another video. But today, let's take a look at the highlighted business apps according to the Zorn OS website. Now, there's a lot here, so let me go through this rather quickly. EasyCrypt, TrueCrypt encryption software, Quick Synergy mouse sharing, Look Changer to change the GUI. This is super cool. I'll show you this last. The Background Plus, extra background functionality. The External Journal, Shutter Screenshot to Blender 3G animation. Diagram Editor, Vector Graphics, File Viewer, Collaborative Text Editor, Composer, Website Creator, Postler Email Client, of course you have Skype, Dexter Address Book, Calibre eBook Reader. Now we get to the business side of this operating system. Economize Personal Finance, G Bonds, Savings Bonds, Inventory, Getting Things Genome, To Do List, G Labels, Label Creator, so on and so forth. There's a lock here please take a look at this at your leisure but let's take a look at the actual operating system I have installed this inside a virtual box I was unable to install the virtual box guest editions I'm not sure if this is just a characteristic of the Zorin operating system or virtual box or both so I will not be able to do this in full screen my apologies but it's no big deal this is the default desktop here for Zorin. Of course, you have this nice uh, somewhat sky blue color with the Z logo in the middle. These are the default desktop icons. The panel bar, which is at the top, normally when you start this, the default location is at the bottom. I chose to have it at the top for this particular review. Of course, you have your standard icons here at the top. Once again, if you are looking for a more detailed look at this, please take a look at the previously two mentioned videos. Let me click the Start button. Now, this should look very familiar to you if you are a Windows user. Let me click the Windows 7 Start button. Well, there you go. Windows 7 here, Zorn here. This really doesn't need any more explanation, does it? It is very easy to use. Okay, there's a lot here installed, but I wanted to highlight two of the business side of this operating system. Let me click Office, Home Bank. Of course, I don't have a name for this particular bank. It just defaults to nobody or nobody's home bank. Haha. -ha. These are your functions at the top and you have shortcuts here. If I click Transactions, of course, I don't have anything yet added, so let me click Manage, Accounts, you have Pays, Categories, Assignments. Let me click Accounts. Let me click Add. Okay, I need to put a name for this account. I will put Total OS Today. The type of this account, let's stick with Bank. The number, I will just put 1. 
bank name I would just put one you can highlight including the budget this account was closed balances initial overdrawn overdrawn check number notebook one and two oh let me highlight initial account to keep this simple let me just up click the up arrow one dollar click close and there you have it I have one account here listed at total OS today it is a bank type of account and a grand total of one dollar now let me point your attention here we have a car icon to list a car expenses report if you click this you have a budget report overdrawn report and so on and so forth I suppose this would be similar to oh, I don't know I would say Quicken software or maybe Microsoft money I have used those two pieces of software in the past this would be a simplified version of those two pieces of software I don't currently use any banking software I guess I'm old-fashioned I prefer to either go to the bank call it in or just have a printout done but if you like to keep a home inventory of your bank accounts and or business and or expenses I recommend this all right let me if you click X it says do you want to save the changes in the current file obviously you should save it for this review purpose I will click do not save let me go back to the Z start button go to office again now we took a look at home bank let's go down to what was the other one that was here WX banker finance manager okay and we have a little bit of a more simplified version of a piece of banking software I know I don't know if you can see this but at the top left there is a little flashing green icon if I highlight that I need to add a new account okay let me click that I need to give this account a new name and of course total OS today okay enter now if I could point your attention here at the bottom right right here there is another icon and enter this transaction aha it says invalid transaction amount no amount entered in the amount field so right here is the amount field oh let's see what amount should I enter what is the price of a gallon of gas today in the US about five thousand dollars a gallon right okay let me type five point zero 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 don't laugh it may come to that five thousand dollars a gallon right okay and of course we have the date today's date the initial balance is it is the description the amount is five thousand five thousand total total OS today account of five thousand here at the bottom left you have show calculator hide calculator you can highlight more options less options transactions summary all right a balance trend here or some form of a balance sheet back to transactions and we can add another account if, if we wanted to would just click the minus button here now see what happened here I click the minus button this will permanently remove the account total OS today and all its transactions continue well since I'm just doing a review here and if or you made a mistake you can just click yes and you can start over I think you get the picture of how this works now as far as the other pieces of software now once again it says save changes no I'll just click no as far as the other pieces of software I wanted to show you one more let me go to system preferences I wanted to highlight the look changer Now, let's say for whatever reason you just don't like how this default desktop looks let me click Windows XP please re-log in to apply changes now take a look here closely how this looks okay I will log out and log back in log out okay now let me log back in now at the bottom here at the bottom left it just says next to the Z logo it just says start now does this look familiar to you somewhat does this look a little bit more like 
Windows XP? I think so. So once again, if you are a new Windows user and wanted to try something extremely user friendly, check out Zorn. If for some reason you don't like Zorn, I, I would find that hard to believe. Check out Linux Mint, which I like also. But Zorn is the way to go right now if you are brand new to the Linux desktop environment. Okay, well that's it. That's it for this quick review of the Zorn OS Business Edition operating system. As always, please don't forget to subscribe, rate, and comment. And as always, my friends, I will catch you sometime in the Linux future. Thank you.